Hi ladies, it's Matthew. I want to talk about some words that men say to women that women do not look forward to and very often don't know how to take when they say them, which are, I'm not sure if I am ready for a relationship. Now very often this is accompanied by some sort of explanation about why he maybe still wants to be single or just doesn't feel ready yet. The point is how you respond. And many women have a response that hurts them rather than helps them in this situation. Now you know me, sometimes I want to come along with an inspirational message or a message for your confidence and at other times I come along and I just tell you exactly what you can say in a certain situation to get a result. Well today is one of those days where I want to give you exactly what to say. Now first let's understand this is a really difficult scenario. Emotions run high, you feel hurt that the person you want to be with isn't sure about whether they want to be with you or sometimes even more specifically they're not sure whether they want to be in a relationship right now it's not always purely about you but it's it sucks and because it sucks we have a temptation to get angry to get hurt to get upset to get sad in front of them but i want you to use what i'm about to tell you as a way of both showing complete love for the other person and complete love for yourself at the same time now just to add a caveat which I've only recently got used to adding in my videos because sometimes when I give something like this, the response is a very kind of reflex. Well, I would just tell him to go screw himself. I would just tell him, I don't want him anyway. Or I, you know, I, I, I'd tell him to go to hell because I don't want a guy like that. I'm assuming that you're watching this because this is a guy that you do actually care about. That despite saying he's not really ready for a relationship or that he's not sure, he's not necessarily a bad guy but just a guy who is confused and a guy that despite his confusion, you still either like or love and both want the best for and want the best possible shot at being with. So with that in mind, here's what you can say. It seems like you need to go away and figure out what you want and be on your own for a while. And I want your happiness more than anything in the world. I, I just want you to be happy. So I feel like you need to go and be alone in order to figure out what you want. And I hope that I'm here or I'm still here when you're ready. But until then, I know that I need someone who is completely in because I wouldn't want to be with someone who isn't 100% about wanting to be with me. Here's what I love about you saying all of this. He's not sure what he wants and trying to make him more sure about you isn't gonna make him more sure. All it's gonna do is make him feel like he's being sold on something. Instead, you saying, I think you're right. You need to go away and figure out what you want and you need to be alone to do that. He's now scared because he's like, now I have to go and be on my own and maybe I don't want to do that. And since she's making it okay for me to go and be on my own and figure myself out, it doesn't even seem as attractive anyway. It's not like I have anything to rebel against because she's telling me to go and do it. Then when you couple that with saying, I want you to do that because I care about your happiness. Your happiness means the world to me. It comes from such a loving and sweet and pure place. It's not like you're just trying to manipulate him. You really want him to go and find out what he wants. Because the last thing that you want is for him to be unhappy in this situation. So he now sees this unbelievably loving woman in front of him that he's about to lose. Then when you say, I hope I'm still here when you're ready, that notion is introducing that seed of doubt. Like, you're leaving now and I'm encouraging you to do it because I want you to be happy, but you're also showing that it may not happen. There is that chance that he may not get everything that he wants at the end of the day by doing this. And then lastly, when you say to him, I want someone who is 100% in with me. I want someone who really knows what they want. That's what I deserve. That's when you show your value. That's when you show you respect yourself. That's when you show you love yourself. You love him, but you also love yourself. And that's why you couldn't accept anything less than someone who's sure about you. This whole response is loving, it's kind, but it's also strong. And it shows him that you're someone that he truly is going to be losing out on in a big way in his life. Words matter. And the way you use words can be extraordinarily powerful for your relationships.
Now, I know that there are so many of you out there who love when I give specific things to say. I'm a big lover of some of the big concepts as well, but sometimes it's nice just to know. I've got this situation with a guy, what do I say? He texted me this, what do I say? He said this to me, what do I say? A little while back, I created something called the 59 Secret Scripts. And these were scripts that you could use in any situation with men. All different, amazing things that you can say to show that you're high value, to show that you're sexy, and to get what you want from men. And they're so, so powerful. If you've ever been in a situation with a guy and you're like asking your friends, what do I say? What do I say to this? Or what should I have said to him? This solves that for you. So if you want to go check these out, which I know you will, go to getthescripts.com. I can't wait to see what you think of these. I'm very excited. Go to getthescripts.com. I'll see you there.